Hello, everyone. This is Ke <laughs> you know what my name is. This is Kia Kelly. Today, we're talking all about uh, Instagram strategies. I am excited to be here with you. If you are watching this on the replay, I want you to type hashtag replay in the comments because that's going to let me know you're watching this on the replay. If you're watching this live, say hello. Hello, everyone. Good. What's this today? Afternoon. It's 12 o'clock. Good afternoon, everybody. I am very excited to be here with you guys. Hey, Tamara. And I'm excited that I have a new um, a new phone stand. <laughs> okay, so if you ever watch me on live stream, you know I am always streaming on Instagram, on my phone, and then on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok on my desktop on StreamYard. And so for the last couple of months, I have been uh, trying to stream. Okay, here we go. So I have been, hey, Alex, I have been trying to uh, stream on Instagram with this like little, uh, okay, so let me backstory. So you are able to stream on StreamYard on all social media platforms at one time, including Instagram, okay? But when you stream on Instagram on StreamYard, it cuts your half of your face off because you know it's a vertical platform and not horizontal so it's been a struggle so i had this little case to stream on um to stream on my phone on instagram but it wasn't like tall enough it was just terrible so i ended up over the weekend buying a new stand and so now it's not as bad so now we are streaming on facebook linkedin youtube twitter TikTok and Instagram, and I can see it like pretty, it's not as bad. So like, I do need to go up a little bit higher. Um, but let me see if I have something. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> it's like, so we're going to be talking about uh, Instagram strategies today, and I'm going to like open it up for you guys to ask questions. So if you want to go ahead and like write some questions down below, that would be great. I am going to try to lift this. Uh oh, <laughs> sorry, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I have a new uh, I have a new phone stand and I'm trying to like make it go a little bit higher. Those of you guys that live stream, you know the struggle. Okay. All right. So it's a little bit higher. Okay. This is really good actually. Um, okay. So we can probably go a little bit higher. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> I love all my live streaming friends because we all know the struggles of like, you know, using props to, to, to do certain things like, any of you guys live streamers and you have to like have props and stuff, this is like the struggle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> is this like, all right. So no, this is actually really good. Okay. So we're like, okay, we're good. We're doing really good. All right. As long as my phone doesn't fall. Okay. So today we're going to be talking about some Instagram marketing strategies. Now we are live on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. And the beauty of today is that we got ourselves a new phone case. Okay, so if you guys are on Instagram, y'all can see that like, here's the prop. So we got this box, this box, and then we got this. And that's how we're propping things up. Uh, so we can, uh, so we can create the prop. Oh, you get it. Okay. All right. So let's get kind of get into it. Uh, hey, Antonio. So the first thing is, oh, what did that say? So what? Okay. Anyway, sorry. I'll ask later. Okay. So we're talking about Instagram today. Now today is May 1st. Welcome to May. You know, they always say April showers bring May flowers, even though it's very gloomy in San Diego today. I'm like, come on, son. So I want to know, first of all, what are some questions that you guys have about marketing your businesses on Instagram? Okay. Now let, before I get into it, I will say this to you guys. So for the last couple of months, our business has been looking at some different things, right? One, we teach, we've been teaching TikTok marketing for three years, right? I've been a business consultant for years, right? We've been teaching TikTok marketing for three years, right? And when the US started talking about banning TikTok, I was like, you know, I'm not really concerned about that um, because I'm a business consultant. Um, but I also started looking at what are people asking of me, right? Like when I'm on Instagram, when I'm on all the other social platforms, what are people asking me? And so the number one thing people keep asking me is like, how do I grow my business on social media? Like, period. That's what everybody's asking. And I'm like, so I'm, I am only been teaching people how to grow their businesses on TikTok. And I'm like, but I know so much more. So, okay. So our company just recently made a shift where we're basically teaching vertical video marketing. 
like vertical video. And vertical video is this. Vertical video is Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, okay? We're not focusing on Pinterest idea pins yet, uh, but we're also focusing on LinkedIn short videos, right? So you guys are gonna start seeing me talk a lot about vertical video, period, right? And so like, as you're here with me today, hey, Dr. Janelle, as you guys are here with me today, you're gonna hear me talk a lot about vertical video marketing. And when I say vertical video marketing, vertical, right? So you got horizontal, those of you guys that are watching me everywhere except Instagram is horizontal, but we're, we're gonna be teaching you guys vertical. That way, like, you can not only build your business and market your business on TikTok, but you can take that one piece of content and you can distribute it everywhere, right? Because that's what I've been doing the last three years. I, I shoot on TikTok and I distribute everywhere. I just haven't been teaching that. And I'm like, okay, let me start teaching that, okay? So as we start having this conversation today, I just want you to understand that like, as you hear me talk about vertical video marketing, that that's what I'm talking about. Now, I will also say, I just looked at my lips and said, I don't have any color in my lips. So y'all are going to watch me add some color to my lips. <laughs> y'all like, what is happening? So we're going to add some color to our lips while we are live because I like to have color, okay? But I also want you guys to start asking me questions in the comments. I do have my notes on what we're going to talk about today, um, but I want to make sure that I know what you need. <laughs> Andrea, I'm just saying. I want some color. So we're gonna add some color. <laughs> I want a little bit more color, let me see. Okay, a little bit more color. <laughs> Y'all are like, what is going on? I wanted to add some color to my lips, so I added color, okay? All right, okay. The theme of the talk, <laughs> Natalie, she's like, why are we here? <laughs> Natalie, like, why are we here? So today we're talking about Instagram marketing strategies, all right? So, <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay. So what? <laughs> no, you're fine, Natalie. It's just funny to just see it in the chat. Okay. So first of all, I want you to ask me, what are your questions about Instagram marketing? Okay. Because I'm going to talk about what I'm going to talk about, but I want to know, what do you want to know? Thank you for following Dr. Tamika. Okay. So one of the things to understand about all social media platforms is every social media platform wants what they want. Okay, listen, it's really important to understand this. Every social media platform wants what they want, right? And if you are gonna market your products and services or you as the product or service on Instagram, you've gotta learn what does Instagram want? And you have to give Instagram what Instagram wants. Same thing goes for Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. They all want what they want, okay? Now, listen, it's also really important to understand that, like, how do I say this? So a lot of times we are saying to ourselves, I just want to like create one piece of content and hit one button and it goes everywhere, right? Listen, it's really important to understand this. Okay, how do I say this? Okay, how do I say, okay. Okay. Let's just put your you in the role of Instagram. So I have a I had this uh, listen, I'm a visual person. I used to have a design agency, so everything is visual for me. Okay. All right. So let's just say you own a social media company, right? Let's just say you own Instagram, right? And then we find something else. Okay. And then so this is Instagram, right? And then you've got TikTok, right? TikTok comes along. Listen, these are two totally different companies owned by two totally different people, right? They may know each other, but they're not, they're not like, they're not a family. Does that make sense? They're not the same company, okay? So I'm giving y'all the visuals so you can understand. This is Instagram and this is TikTok. They may know each other, like each other. CEOs may play golf, basketball, whatever together, but they're not a family, right? Instagram's job is to grow Instagram and TikTok's job is to grow TikTok. Okay, so it's really important to y'all to get that before I say what I'm going to say next. Okay, now this is the average person on social media, right? And this person has a business. This person wants to market their business. <laughs> this person wants to market their business on TikTok. This person wants to market their business on Instagram, right? If you, if that person is going to market their business on Instagram and TikTok, they have got to play by Instagram and TikTok's rules, 
right? And you've got to give each platform what they want. What do they want? Listen, they want to make money. How do they make money? right? Well, they make money because business owners and advertisers advertise on their platform, okay? Because they advertise on their platform. But the reason why advertisers do that is because they can see the data and they can see that their audience is on that platform. And when they spend money and they target their audience, they're going to reach their audience and that can convert into leads and it can, can convert into sales, right? So what does that mean? That means that TikTok's job is to get as many people on TikTok as possible, market their business on TikTok, okay? Stay there and all the things. Same thing goes for Instagram, okay? So it is not in their best interest that the number one way for you to market your business is by um, using a social, a social platform scheduler. Listen, listen, uh, um, listen, I'm just, just listen. What do I mean when I say that? There are some amazing social media scheduling tools out there. Okay. There is Metricool. There is Later. There's Agora Pulse. There's Hootsuite. There's so many of them that you can use to schedule. And it's not a bad thing to schedule. Okay. But listen, it's really important to understand this. If you want to get the most, listen, listen, I want y'all to write most in the chat, okay? Hey, Valerie on LinkedIn, y'all type the word most, okay? Most, all right? If you want to get the most out of the piece of content that you are about to post on a social media platform, the best way to get the most out of it is to manually upload it to that platform. OK, that is what they want. And that is what's happening. If you're wanting to get the most out of that piece of content, it is going to be you uploading that video manually to the platform, not through a social media scheduler. I am not saying do not use a scheduler. I'm saying as a marketer, if you want to get the most out of it, you have to upload manually. Even though we as business people, we want to be able to post it and go. I get it. I'm a business owner. I'm the, I'm the same way. I got things to do. But if you want to get the best, you have to manually upload it. Exactly. Exactly, Sandra. Okay. Now, so what that means is that you can go onto Facebook and schedule things. That's manual. You can go on Instagram. That's, that's scheduling. You can go on TikTok on desktop and schedule it. You can go on YouTube and schedule it, right? You can do that, right? I'm just saying, okay? So so my whole point, because today we're talking about Instagram marketing strategies. If you want to get the most, the best experience out of Instagram is you have to give Instagram what Instagram wants. Now, listen, if you just joining in um, today, we're teaching about Instagram strategies. I teach TikTok, vertical video, all the things. But today we're just specifically talking about TikTok. I mean, excuse me, Instagram. I'm like TikTok. Uh, talk about Instagram. OK. All right. So and I'm going to answer questions in just one second. So just if y'all have questions, keep putting them in the chat and I'm going to pull them up on screen and then look at them. OK. If you're on Instagram, put your questions in the question mark box so it doesn't get lost. OK. I can see the questions on like Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter over here on, on StreamYard. I can see TikTok questions here on TikTok, but Instagram put yours in a question mark box. OK. All right. So one of the first strategies that you want to like put into play with your marketing for Instagram is you want to have a schedule for like, when are you going to be uploading content to Instagram? OK, when are you going to be uploading content? OK, but not only that, what are you going to be putting out there? Right. Because we obviously know that there is Instagram feed posts, there's regular videos, there's Instagram reels and there's Instagram stories. Right. So the first thing you have to do is determine what are you going to be doing on Instagram? Right. What are you going to be doing on Instagram? Now, if you are selling something, listen, the best way to sell on Instagram right now is not in your feed. The best way to sell on Instagram is in your stories, right? Y'all write that in the chat. The best way to sell on Instagram is in your stories, 
right? Now, I'm not talking about selling in your stories and then putting a link in your stories, okay? Now, let me explain that. Listen, this is so loaded. There's so much to Instagram. There's so much to all of them, but we're talking about Instagram. Okay, let me slow myself down. So one of the things to know about, let's just say Instagram, but it's all a social media, that social media cares about something that's called T-O-P, okay? T-O-P, that stands for time on platform, okay? They care about you spending the most time on platform. And so the last thing that they really want you to do is pulling people off of platform. OK, that's the last thing they want you to do is pulling people off of the platform. OK, so what does that mean? Listen, even though you can create an Instagram story and you can put a link in your story to click out somewhere, even though that's an option that they give you, that is not what they really like. Right. How do I know that? Because my friends that are Instagram gurus, right, and my own testing, we have tested and seen that when we post our stories and we get lots of views, people commenting and all the things or whatever. Once we post a story and we have a link to something that is going to take people off of Instagram, like we use that clickable link thing and we take them off a of platform, what we have noticed is a drop in our, in our Instagram story views. Okay. We have noticed a drop in our Instagram story views. Okay. But what we also have noticed that if we have people actually, okay. Cause there's a tool that is called many chat. Okay. Y'all can write that in the chat, many chat, M A N Y chat, many chat. So there's a tool called ManyChat and ManyChat is beautiful, right? I love it, right? Because with ManyChat, you can get people to come off of Instagram without it, cut, without it being like a strike against you, so to speak, right? Now, what does that mean? Okay, I'll give you an example. All right, so for me on Instagram, okay? How do I say this? Okay, let me see. Like, there's so much to say here. On Instagram, if you type, like if you're on an Instagram live, you guys are right now, or if you're on my reels or you're on my post or you're in my DM, if you comment the word monetize, I'm not telling you to, but if you comment the word monetize on Instagram, anywhere connected to me, ManyChat is going to send you a link to our TikTok course called Monetize the Talk. Right. And so that's an automated tool that we use to give people a link to something. Right. What we have experienced is that when people type the word monetize and they click and leave the platform, that it doesn't affect our story views. It just doesn't. But if we put a link in our stories to monetize the talk and you click on it in our stories, like in the story, then it's going to lower your views. OK, so if you are wanting to be able to sell in stories, which is the best way to sell on Instagram, that I highly recommend that you learn how to use the tool called ManyChat, M-A-N-Y-C-H-A-T, because putting a link is not the is not what you want to do. Now, even if you don't use ManyChat, you can easily just tell people, comment the word whatever, right? So for example, my friend Shaleen is launching her course right now and she has a, a webinar that she was teaching. And I said I was going to promote the webinar to my, to my community. So instead of me putting the link in my stories, I, I talked about it and I said, if you want to attend this webinar, just comment the word me, right? And so a bunch of people commented the word me. Once I saw the story and that they commented me, I just copied and pasted the link and I gave it to them in my stories. And I didn't, it didn't cost me anything. It, it wasn't a strike against me because it was a conversation I was having in stories and not a, a link that they clicked in my, in my actual story. Is this making sense? If this makes sense to you, just type in the chat. It makes sense. Okay. Cause I'm like, I know you guys are listening, you're watching and all the things, but I'm, I want to make sure that this makes sense. So does this make sense to everybody? If it does, okay, good. Okay, all right. So that's one way to, 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 to market your business on, on Instagram.
Another thing to note about, oh, FYI, if you are follow, watching this on TikTok, if you guys wouldn't mind, uh, just tap on your screen. Because when you tap your screen on TikTok Live, it shows TikTok that uh, there's engagement. People like this video. And they, they send it out to more people on the For You page. So if you wouldn't mind just tapping your screen, you'll see the likes increase up there. And then you'll see people start coming into the room, OK? Uh, and if you're not following me, please follow Okay, so that's one way. So another thing to know about, you know, Instagram um, strategies is that, okay, so people really get to know you, like you, and trust you as you are creating content on a regular basis in your stories, right? So like, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm Kenya Kelly on Instagram, you'll see me walk you through my day. Like, I'm like, I'm thinking about this. I'm talking about this. I'm on my way to the gym. You know, I'm doing these, I'm doing my, my daily life of things, right? In the midst of talking about what it is that I do, offering my products and services and all the things, right? And it's easy for people to want to purchase from you when you're constantly having like a regular conversation with them, not just always selling, but it's like, you know, it's building up that like, know, and trust factor. You're like, you're inviting them into your life. I'm not telling you to tell them all your business or I'm going to bed now. I just woke up. I got to go to the bathroom. I'm not telling you to do that, but you're inviting people on this journey to be with you. Right. But what it also does is it invites people to, to, to conversate with you. Right. So if I like, you know, yesterday was Sunday, you guys know I'm a Christian, I'm a minister. And I have a podcast, which is called the You, Me, and Jesus podcast, right? And so we have an episode that comes out every single week. And so we had an episode come out yesterday. And so I was in my story talking about just went to church, went out to dinner with a, a lovely couple, and we have a new episode on the You, Me, and Jesus podcast, right? I didn't sell anything, right? But I was just allowing people into who I am and what it is that I do, right? Just all the things, right? Right. But I also talked about this morning that like, hey, I'm going to be going live on Instagram at 12 noon. If you want to join, I'm going to be giving Instagram strategies, right? I, I offer that. And then some people have joined in from that story. Listen, is anybody here on Instagram watching this because you saw my story? There may not be anybody here, but I just want to do a quick poll just in case. Okay. So again, if you're going to, uh, one of the strategies for Instagram is that connecting with people through your stories. Right. And so that just like, okay, it's, it's going to require you to be like different. If you're not used to like showing up every day in stories, conversing with your community and just talking and inviting people to ask questions, then it's going to be awkward at first. It's awkward for everybody. Like I am not somebody who just grew up one day and said, okay, I want to be a social media influencer. I wanted to build a business. I want to have, I wanted to have time freedom, financial freedom. I wanted to build a life, right? And then doing stories is just a part of that journey that I said yes to, right? So it's not like I just knew how to do it, was just like super comfortable do, doing it. I had to get better over time. Does that make sense, everybody? Does that make sense? If this makes sense, you just say makes sense. Like right now, I'm just talking into my computer. I'm talking into my phone, and y'all can talk back to me by just like talking back to me. Okay. All right. So another way to make to to for strategies for Instagram is through your stories. Okay. All right. Let me go back to my notes. Um, let me see. Okay. Another way to be able to uh, build your business is definitely Instagram Live. It just is right? It's Instagram live. Now, the thing to understand about Instagram live is that it's, it's a, it's a, such a beautiful benefit that once you go live, your profile shows up first, right? So it's like, you could have had a story you posted never, right? But once you go live on Instagram, the people that follow you, they're going to see your post first because it's going to say Kenya is live, right? And so now this is giving you like, um, prime seating, right? A prime advertising opportunity to get people into your live stream, right? But it's also really important to note that like you can't just go live and expect people to just come live and just be there. That's not really how it works. People may come into your live, but they're going to stay there because you're teaching what it is that they want to learn, right? Or what they want to know. So that you can't go live and just be washing dishes. No, you've got to like, You've got to be talking to people. You got to be serving people, right? So that's why, like with me, when I go live, I typically have a topic. One, I will tell people I'm going live. Two, I will have a topic that I'm going to teach on. And then second, I open up for Q&A. So I know your next question is going to be, well, how long should you go live for? Listen, minimum 20 minutes, okay? You want to go live a minimum of 20 minutes. 
Why? Here's why. You know that you're going live at 12. I went live at 12, right? So I knew I was going live at 12. But that doesn't mean that you're sitting by your phone like, well, King is going live at 12. So I'm going to just sit back and wait till her live comes on so I can go and watch her live. No, people aren't doing that. As much as we like to think that everybody's sitting around waiting on us, they ain't. Not even our mamas and daddies are waiting on us like that. <laughs> <laughs> even my cats don't be waiting on me. The only time my cats wait on me is when I come home and they're like, is it time to eat? That is it. Or when I have been sleep all night and they're like, is, is there movement in that room so she can come out here and feed us? That's it. Okay. So you're going to want to be, <laughs> Dr. Tamika, you're going to want to be live at least 20 minutes, right? But you're not going to sit there and like wait for people to come on. Listen, y'all just tell me in the chat. The last thing you want to do is like be on your live stream. Like I'm going to just wait for more people to come on. We're going to get about a hundred people in the room that we're going to get started. Don't nobody care about you and your 100 people. Just start. You know what I mean? Like I just, you just start. Right. And then whoever is there is there. If you have to repeat yourself, then you just have to repeat yourself. You know, I have been, <laughs> I've been live streaming since 2016. I think it's when Periscope came out. And I didn't know how to live stream. And so I started the journey of just like trying and trying and trying and trying. And then I started to learn like, oh, this is like, I need to like start immediately. I need to talk and teach. I need to, you know, and, you know, answer questions here and there. Don't read all the comments out loud. I need to like engage with people. Thanks for following on TikTok. You know, get to have to engage with people. So this is going to be a journey. If you're going to use Instagram Live, which you should, then you're going to have to get good at it. It's not going to be like overnight. You're just like this, you know, you know, live streamer. No, it's going to be practice, right? This is one of the reasons why I have my background decorated. So I have this office here and the wall color is like, let me see, Instagram. This is like this, this, this tan color, right? But I knew that I would go live. I knew that I would have Zoom meetings. I knew that I would create videos. And so we came in here, we painted this, we got these shelves and put things on the shelves. Why? To have a background. I'm not saying you got to go and do all that. But if you're like, listen, this is how I'm going to be building my business and I'm going to use live stream as something I do on a consistent basis, then you're going to want to build some type of experience, right? For years, for years, I live streamed in my bedroom. You didn't know it was my bedroom because I took a small space. Like I was like in a corner of my bedroom, like my, my dresser was right here and it had a little corner left and I had like a little bar stool sitting in the corner and I had little plaques I got from Hobby Lobby behind me. It looked like I was in some type of set. I was in my bedroom and I did that for years, <laughs> right? And then when I moved, I got a, a sheet behind me and that was my background, right? So it's not like this is always, no, this is not always been, okay? So it's just important to know that, all right? Uh, but live stream is one of the greatest, greatest ways to connect with your audience, okay? Because here's the deal. It's the like, know, and trust factor. People buy from people that they like, know, and trust, right? And one of the easiest and fastest ways for people to like, know, and trust you is through live stream, okay? Because you guys get to see me, hear me. We're getting ready to get into the question and answer session in like five minutes. So if you got questions, just hang on. Um, and hey, hey, Angeline, Okay. And so it's an opportunity for people to like really get to know you. They get to know what all you know. A lot of times people come on live stream with me and they're like, I did not know you knew this, but they learn how much I know because of live stream, right? Because I'm teaching and I'm talking and I'm serving and I've been doing this for what's going on seven years that I've been doing live stream, right? It works really well and it works really well on Instagram. Okay. Now what also is working really well on Instagram still is Instagram Reels, right? Now, you guys know I've been teaching TikTok for three years. I love TikTok. I am still on TikTok. I am still all day TikTok, period, right? But again, we're teaching vi vertical video marketing strategies, right? And so Instagram Reels still works really well. But you can't just create some bum Instagram Reel. <laughs> I do not mean to be me, but I was just, <laughs> I'll just keep it real. Okay. Listen, listen, 
Here's the deal with short form vertical video. The average attention span of a person in general is eight to 11 seconds, okay? The average attention span is eight to 11 seconds. That's it, okay? So listen, <laughs> you've got like a second, maybe two, to capture somebody's attention, right? So listen, right now we're live on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on TikTok, and on Instagram, right? And even on live stream, you have got to get people to stay, right? But as it pertains to reels, it's even more important, right? Why? Because when someone opens up the Instagram app, right? And Instagram says, ooh, we see this piece of content and we think that Kenya will be interested to it. So we're going to send it to her once she opens the app, right? That person that Instagram has just sent me their content has got to feel like a second or two to capture my attention or I'm going to scroll to something else, right? Think about it for you, right? You open up the Instagram app. If the first thing you see, you're not interested, what you going to do? You're going to scroll, right? Now you and scroll until you see something that you want to see, right? And so this is why it is so important that you're very intentional with your content on Instagram reels. Okay. Listen, as it pertains to short form vertical video, your hook is everything. Okay. Y'all write that in the chat. Your hook is everything. What is a hook? A hook is the first thing that happens in the video, okay? A hook is the first thing that happens in the video, right? And so that could be the first thing you say. That could be your text on screen. That could be the first image you see or what have you. How many of you guys have seen like those cat and dog videos? Like I'm a cat person, right? And you, I'll see a video and I see a cat like facing like a bird or facing a window or two cats facing each other. And I'm like, something is going down. And that first thing that I saw tells me something is about to happen in this video and I need to stay to see what is going to happen, right? And so as it pertains to you and your content in Instagram Reels, same thing applies, right? So this is why, let me, let me give you some examples of some great hooks, right? So, and you can like take this and run with it, right? Okay, let me just think it on the fly. Let me see. You are not going to believe this. That's a hook, right? And they're like, believe what? <laughs> right? Oh my God, I cannot believe I'm about to tell you this, right? Here's the number one thing your dentist does not want you to know. The number one thing they don't want to tell you about weight loss, whatever, right? And it's like, you know, here are three things you need to know about building your business on Instagram. Here's the number one way to go viral on TikTok. Whatever, right? That first thing is everything. Because listen, what you're needing to do as it pertains to Instagram Reels is creating scroll stopping content. I teach this all the time on TikTok is you want to create what's called scroll stopping content. Okay, y'all write that in the chat. Scroll stopping content. Now, scroll stopping content, that means people are scrolling. And something you are doing is causing them to stop, okay? And so that is that first one to two seconds in your video. You don't need to introduce yourself. Nobody cares, <laughs> right? So in my Instagram reels, I don't say, I teach vertical, hi, I'm Kian Kelly. I teach vertical video marketing. I don't say that at all. I start right into what it is I'm trying to teach, right? <laughs> I start right into what it is I'm trying to teach, okay? So that hook, right? Now, your hook should be showing people what is their what they can experience in your video, right? So if I'm saying you will never believe what I'm about to tell you, here's something that is saving me so much money in my business, right? And then the next pieces, like seconds of content should be me talking about the way that I'm saving money in my business. Or here's the fastest way I was able to lose 60 pounds or whatever. Here's how I healed after divorce, right? I talk about that a lot on my social medias, right? And women, they're like, oh, you know, so then I, I talk about how I healed after divorce, right? But also, listen, but also in addition to that hook and then giving them the content, you've got to keep people there until the end, right? Then I'm giving you, listen, I am giving y'all the game. 
Okay. If I am giving y'all the game for free, and I'm gonna eat this in just a second, uh, but <laughs> I'm I'm giving y'all the game. Listen, Instagram wants people to not only watch some of your video, they want people to watch all the video because it's called watch time, right? Same thing with TikTok, right? Watch time. Because remember what I said in the beginning, they want people spending more time on the platform, the most time on the platform. So if you're able to get people to watch some of your content, all of your content, and then maybe even loop the content, meaning they're watching it multiple times, Instagram says, ooh, people like this video, I'm gonna keep sending it out to more people. Does that make sense? So you're gonna wanna try to get people to watch the beginning, middle, and ending, but also it would be in your very best interest if at, from time to time you invite people to share your content, right? Because listen, the reason why content goes viral is because it gets shared. They keep sharing it and they keep tagging people and everybody's telling each other about it. So then it goes viral. You don't have to go viral, but that's why it goes viral because everybody's sharing and watching and all the things. Does that make sense? Okay. So that's that where Instagram reels. Now I could talk about reels a whole lot more, but we got to get into Q and a, um, the last thing that I will say, and then we're, we'll do some Q and a is image image posts are doing better now on Instagram, right? If you guys haven't noticed, people are posting more pictures, more carousels and all that. Listen, if you are going to post images, okay. One of the best things you can do is do images that cause people to save and share right? Images that cause people to save and to share, right? What, why? Here's why. If I create a carousel teaching on, let's just say vertical video marketing, strategies for vertical video marketing, right? And that post reaches, let's just say 3,000 people. If 3,000 people share that into their Instagram story, guess what's going to happen? My post is going to reach all of these people who I don't know who did not know me until that person shared my, my carousel into their story. Same thing goes for Instagram reels, right? So when you're thinking about your content, one of the things you want to think about is what's going to cause a person to want to share this with somebody. They learned something, they felt something, they experienced something, and now they want to share it with their community. How many of you all have seen the pages of like MD Motivator? He's my favorite, him and Jimmy Darts, where they are going around and they are looking for someone to like, they ask them for a dollar or something like that. And when that person helps them, they actually give them $500, right? Or they end up doing a GoFundMe and they're like, and it changes their entire lives, right? How many of y'all have seen those? I see those all the time and I am always sharing them into my stories. Why? Because I loved it. I loved how it made me feel. And I want other people to know about that particular story. Now, what has happened as a result is they, their accounts have just exploded, right? Their accounts have exploded millions and millions and millions of people. So many TV interviews and all this stuff because their, their random act of kindness and them just being nice is content that people want to share right? I'm not saying that your content has to be you going out and filming someone and you do a good deed to, but what I am saying is that, um, what I am saying is that you, when you're thinking about carousels and then your, your Instagram reels content, you want to be thinking about how can I create content that causes people to want to tell somebody about it? Because if people start telling people about your content, then you're going to reach their people that didn't know you. So when I first started in live stream back in like 2016 and I was teaching about branding, I knew, I know, I've, listen, I'm 41 years old. I've been around a long time in business. And so there's so much stuff that I know. And so when I was, you know, teaching about branding in 2016, I would ask people, Hey, can you share this with a friend? And people started sharing my content on their pages. That is how people got to know who I was and what I did. So then when I started teaching TikTok marketing in 2020, people were sharing my content because they wanted to know about their business. Same thing goes for you. You will reach an audience a lot faster if you're creating content that people want to talk about, that people want to tag people in, that they want to share. Does that make sense? Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Now, I do want to open up for some questions, okay? I want to be able to answer lots and lots and lots of questions, okay? Now, I will also tell you guys that I am very excited that we have been working with a community of people for the last probably four or five months in a private membership community. 
<laughs> and this is where we have been, I coach people on a regular basis, two times a month on live calls as a group uh, in our community. And so as of today, uh, we have are opening up our community. It's called the Vertical Video Accelerator. Okay, the Vertical Video Accelerator. Um, I'm on your FYP. Hi, Chelsea. Wait, is that Chelsea Charity? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. One of my friends from like back in the day. She gonna call me a midget if that's her in just a second. Um, anyway, uh, so we opened up the Vertical Video Accelerator. And basically what the accelerator is, is helping you with vertical video, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is like, we have a call every month, like two calls a month that are 45 minutes where you're able to come in and you, first of all, you hear me give you all the latest updates with vertical video, whether it's Instagram or it's TikTok, all the things you need to know and update, including tutorials. Um, you also see, <laughs> you will also see, that is Chelsea. Uh, you will also see where um, I will be answering all your questions. Because a lot of times people, they come to me and they're like, I came to you for TikTok. I came to you for video help, but I also got questions about my funnel. I also got questions about sales. And that's what we do inside of that accelerator, okay? Uh, but also, in addition to the two calls a month, you get all, a private community where you can come in every single day and you can ask questions all about your business, okay? Because like, like we have two calls, but you're like, I got a question today. How can somebody help me today? And so you're able to go in the community every single day, Monday through Friday, and ask questions and get answers from me and our community, okay? Uh, and then, oh, and then the last thing you get inside of this accelerator is that we're going to be sending you trends. Because one of the things that we know is that you're using trends on Instagram or you're using trends on TikTok. It's an amazing way to get awareness. Now, listen, I always tell people trends don't necessarily make you money, but they make you a so many people aware of who you are so that you can then sell your products and services to them. Okay. So we have opened up our accelerator to you guys. Uh, and it, it's only $47 a month uh, to get inside of this accelerator. We're actually having our first call today at three o'clock Pacific, which is in two hours, <laughs> but you don't have to do that if you, if you can't. Okay. Um, so again, this is our vertical video accelerator is a hundred percent all about teaching you what you need to know about building your business using vertical video, including Instagram and TikTok, uh, tutorials, two group calls every single month, a community to be able to ask your questions. And then every single week, we're, we're giving you the top 10 uh, trends of the week. So five trends on TikTok, five trends on Instagram that you can use for your business. Okay. So I'm going to actually give you guys the link here. And then we're going to go into some Q&A. Okay, there's the link there. Let me post it on screen. Okay. All right. Okay. And so also, uh, and if you have questions, go ahead and write them in the chat where I'm going to answer them. Okay. Uh, but also what happens is that a lot of times when we, if people are on our calls and they don't have any specific questions, then we'll do like some account reviews. So sometimes we'll go with your TikTok and we'll review your content for you. Uh, other times we'll go to Instagram and look at your, uh, your content for you as well. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. So you can also test this out. Okay. So it is $47 a month, but we have a seven day trial period. So you can invest $20 and you can try it out for seven days. If you don't like it, you can cancel. If you like it, uh oh, TikTok went down. Um, sorry, y'all. If you, okay, so you can test it out for, um, for seven days. If you like it, you can stay. Otherwise, you can cancel. Okay, hold on. We're having, okay, so TikTok is having an issue. Hold on, y'all. Let's get TikTok back. So we can answer questions. I'm so sorry we lost them because there was like questions in the feed and everything. That's a bummer for them. Hold on, y'all. Let's get live back. Let me see. That's a bummer. Oh, I think TikTok Live Center is down. Okay, so if you have questions on Instagram, go ahead and put it in the, uh, the question mark box here. Uh, I'm trying to see what's happening with TikTok Live. Oh. TikTok, I think TikTok is down. TikTok Live is down. Let's see. One more time. Maybe they'll come to Instagram. Let me see. Let me see. Go live. Yeah, they're having an error. Okay. Let's see. Electric Paradise Creative. What platform do you use to go live on all platforms simultaneously? So Instagram, I am on my phone, but I use StreamYard to go live everywhere else. 
right? So stream there. I pay like, I think it's like $39 a month. Or I think I pay like a yearly fee. Um, and I go live on all of them from StreamYard. Uh, okay. Let me see. Let's try TikTok one more time. I bet they are bummed. Because they were straight asking questions and then it just went down. <laughs> I don't enjoy that. Okay. It's down. Okay. You're welcome. Let's see questions over here. Why is your content not viral? What content? <laughs> this is somebody on YouTube. My content is not viral on YouTube because it's just not viral on YouTube. <laughs> hey, Barbara. Okay. Any questions here on Instagram? <laughs> That's a bummer about it. it. Listen, there were so many questions on TikTok Live and it just, it just went down. I'm so sorry, TikTok. We were there and then we weren't. <laughs> Something is wrong on our end. We apologize for any inconvenience. It should be back soon. There's that. Okay. Any questions? Oh, I forgot. Uh, if you guys are interested on Instagram, I didn't even give y'all the link uh, because I posted it on StreamYard thinking that y'all had it. Uh, yeah. So if you guys are interested in joining us for the Vertical Video Accelerator, it is here. I'm putting it in the chat for Instagram real quick because it's on screen for StreamYard, but it's not for Instagram. There we go. Oh, good. Okay, cool. All right. Any questions here on Facebook? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try TikTok Live again. See what happens. If not, I have to go to lunch. It's still down. Okay. Nothing there. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that is it. Then I will come back again live tomorrow. Um, I am have committed myself to going live every day uh, at the same time. So just be aware. <laughs> right now, I'm trying to do 12 noon every day. Right, that's the goal. Okay. So, but I'm like clearing out my schedule for like for weeks to make sure that I can do it Monday through Friday. Um, because this is, this is, listen, this is how I built my business and this is how we'll continue building my business because I love doing live streams. I love connecting with you guys. Uh, I love being able to serve you guys. And this is how we've always built our business. And so I'm like, okay, we're going to make space to go live on a regular basis. Okay. All right. Let me try TikTok live one more time. Otherwise we will be done for the day and I'm going to go. Yeah, it's still down. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here today. I hope you all learned a lot about Instagram and I will see you guys tomorrow on the next one. Okay. All right. Bye guys.